Tuatars are one of New Zealand's endangered species. We are lucky enough to have our own here in Wellington. You may think that tuatars are lizards, but they are actually reptiles in their own right. The main difference between lizards and tuatars is that you can see the ears in a lizard, but not in a tuatara. Also, tuatars are born with the third eye between the other two, but the eye gets covered up when they get older. Tuatars hunt on warm nights. Young tuatara hunt at daylight, so as not to be eaten by adult tuataras at night. The Tuatara population is slowly growing because there used to be only 3,000 left in the 1970s and now there are between 50,000 to 100,000 Tuataras living today. The main threat to Tuataras was the Polynesian rat which would dig out the eggs and eat the hatchlings. Since Tuataras are very slow breeders they couldn't keep up the population and became extinct on the mainland. In 1987 DOC Department of Conservation decided to help the tuataras and breed them in captivity till they were adults and were strong enough to cope by themselves. They were then released back into the wild. We spoke to Miss Sue Keel at Victoria University in Wellington. Miss Keel looks after the tuataras at the university. Where do you actually find your eggs? We usually go to the islands where the tuatara live and we follow the females to where they go to lay their eggs and it takes a number of um, days to do this because they, they build their nests over a certain number of days and we watch what they're doing and when they lay their eggs and they fill in the nests and they go away and eat them, that's when we go in and dig up the nest and find the eggs. Sadly, the tuatars are only found on offshore islands around the North Island and in mainland sanctuaries such as our own Zealandia here in Kawori enclosure with the right sort of environment so you need plants and you need to provide burrows for them to live in. They need water. Tuataras are most familiar with birds as their predator. If a bird swoops down and grabs the tuatara's tail, it can drop its tail and will escape into its burrow. They can also camouflage themselves as their skin is the same colour as the trees, plants and bushes in its habitat. So birds that fly over the tuatara will think it is a branch or a bit of bark. What is something you'd like to find out about the tuatara in the future? Mm. I would love to know how old they can live to because lots of people ask that question and we just don't know the answer. We haven't been studying them for long enough. Yeah. Did you know that tuataras feel very spongy and they have a very painful bite because their teeth are so sharp? They are also very territorial and it will be quite aggressive to defend their territory. Here you can see the baby tuataras in their environment at Victoria University.